This is UAE's most incredible future projects. The Emirate of Dubai is no stranger to building large mega projects that amazes the rest of the world. From the tallest building in the world to a massive picture frame, you've most likely seen these Dubai landmarks many times before. But what future projects does Dubai have planned? Aladdin City. Aladdin City was first discussed in 2014. Not too long after, construction began in 2016. This project, inspired by the tales of Aladdin and Sinbad, is yet to be completed as of 2022. The organization that is leading the development of this mega project is Dubai Municipality. Director General Hussein Nasir Luta described it as the icons of legends of the past with a touch of beauty and tourism, characteristic of the city. What can we expect from this future project? If you have not yet read or seen Aladdin, you are in luck. With this project, you can still experience it. Upon completion, Aladdin City in Dubai will feature three high-rise towers with 27, 18, and 10 stories. The design is made to resemble Aladdin's famous magic lamp from the popular fable. The 27-story building is mostly for hotels and offices. The eight-story building will serve as the hotel building entrance, and the 18-story building is a commercial tower connected to a 10-story high parking structure. Since the whole project is constructed at a port, it was essential not to disrupt any activities. Hence, a hotel building entrance reception, along with bridges for pedestrians, have been built. As this is Dubai, there will of course be air-conditioned bridges, and even moving walkways will connect the three towers. This way you can access all three towers very easily. Moreover, the shape of the bridge will resemble the dragons, snakes, and other exotic creatures featured in the books. The plans of Dubai's Aladdin city circulating online show impressive towers with stunning glass exteriors covered in gold. The price tag of the project is coming in at a small $15 billion, but that is just a drop in the ocean in Dubai. Although Aladdin City is quite an impressive thing, it doesn't stand a chance against the last future project, which is literally out of this world. Mazdar City Mazdar City combines advanced technologies with the planning principles of traditional Arab settlements. Their aim is to be carbon neutral with zero waste. The large project is an important component of the Mazdar Initiative, established by Abu Dhabi's government. The reason being to advance the development of renewable energy and clean technology solutions for a life beyond oil. The city will become a hub for the advancement of new ideas for energy production, with the ambition of attracting the highest levels of expertise. This project has already produced the development of Abu Dhabi's Estadama rating system for sustainable building. Manastar City is a mixed-use, low-rise, high-density development. It includes the headquarters for the International Renewable Energy Agency and the newly completed Manastar Institute. The project is strategically located and optimized for Abu Dhabi's transport infrastructure. Mazdar is linked to neighboring communities and the international airport by road and rail routes that already exist. Mazdar City will be the first modern society in the world to operate fully without fossil-fueled vehicles on a daily basis. With a maximum distance of 650 feet to the nearest rapid transport links and amenities, the city is built to encourage walking. While its shaded streets and courtyards offer an attractive pedestrian environment, sheltered from climatic extremes, the area around the city will contain wind and photovoltaic farms, research fields and plantations, this way, the community will be entirely energy self-sufficient. The development is made up of two sectors, bridged by a linear park. It is being constructed in smaller phases, beginning with the larger sector. This way, it is easier to change anything that's needed as they go. You'll also benefit from the emergent technologies, as well as learning lessons during the implementation of the initial phases. Expansion has been anticipated from the outset, allowing for growth while avoiding the sprawl that besets so many cities. While Mazdar's design represents a specific response to its location and climate, the underlying principles are applicable anywhere in the world. In that way, it offers a blueprint for the sustainable city of the future. Burj Jumeirah Construction has begun on the 1,800 feet tall Burj Jumeirah skyscraper located opposite Sheikh Zayed Rawad in Al Sufa in western Dubai. Dubai Holding, the investment firm behind the project, says the tower's design is inspired by ripples found in UAE's desert, sand dunes, and oasis, and the developments outside will be covered in digital displays. At the Burj Jumeirah summit is an interconnected sky lounge and restaurant. With multiple observation decks, the tower offers 360-degree views over the city of gold. The Burj Jumeirah will be the center of Jumeirah, a mixed-use urban residential and commercial development, and will link to Sheriff DD Metro Station and Burj Al Arab Jumeirah. Abdul Ahmed Al-Habai, Dubai Holding Chairman said, It will not only serve the needs of residents, 
who are looking to live in cohesive and connected communities, but will also enhance Dubai's tourism offering by adding another icon to the Emirates' portfolio of unique attractions, Analemma Tower. The next future project in the UAE will definitely surprise you. Cloud's architecture office has unveiled plans for a futuristic skyscraper dubbed the Analemma Tower. The building would be hovering majestically above the ground because it would be attached to an actual asteroid that is forcibly put into orbit around the Earth. Yes, this is a space project. As if that wasn't enough, consider that your exact address in this incredible structure could be anywhere on Earth. The tower will be suspended via high-strength cabling from an asteroid and placed in eccentric geosynchronous orbit. In other words, it would always be moving. Residents and people that are visiting would take a daily journey between the northern and southern hemispheres. Although the tower would stay over a main home point like Dubai for prolonged periods, the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission successfully landed on the surface of the comet Shermuv Kazemko in 2015, showing that it's possible to interact with such small bodies in space. This is why CAO plans to use an asteroid harnessed with a high strength cabling reaching towards the Earth to hold the skyscraper along its journey. Analemma Tower's designer Ostap Rudikevich has said that the tower could possibly be made of durable and lightweight materials like carbon fiber and aluminum. Of course, advances in cable engineering would be needed before the cable strength required to support the structure fully works. As for power, it'd be coming from space-based solar panels that are constantly exposed to the sun. Water for the tower could be captured from clouds and rainwater, then kept inside a semi-closed system. As proposed, the top of the tower sits at over 100,000 feet and would be able to reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour as it travels through the sky. You may ask yourself, would you hang out? The design leaves some very important questions like, how can I also have a life on the ground? Well, if you're asking these questions, then you're probably not ready for the Analemma Tower, although the designers still have thought about this. Rudikevich said he envisions large passenger drones, allowing people to move back and forth between the tower and Earth's surface, along with cutting-edge electromagnetic elevators moving people throughout his fantastic vision. Currently, the proposal would most likely be constructed in Dubai, which has a massive record of building tall and advanced skyscrapers at a cheaper price than in the US, for example. Although Analemma Tower is just a loose concept right now, it is a possibility for the future.